Hi, welcome to my channel, Raven's Enchanted Tarot. This evening I'm doing a really, not a quick reading for Aries, but just sort of a, a nosy into what's going on because we have got our class a special full moon going on right now. It is a full moon in Aries and we have just come out of the hellhole of a retrograde, the Mercury retrograde and if you have come out of that retrograde emotionally damaged then join the club because it was a nasty one to say the least. There was a lot of purging going on during that retrograde and I know for me as much as I like to put up my protection, calling guardian angels etc, it really did me no favours this retrograde, it was like all or nothing, it was ride or die and it was fucking tough guys. So I'm wanting to do this Aries reading specifically because we are going into the Aries full moon, or we are currently in it, and the energies are extremely palpable, it's very, very strong. So I thought, right, pull my cards out, I've not done no videos for a while, and let's see what's going on. So, remember to only take what resonates, this may or may not resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. Not every single message here is for you, and remember timing is fluid. So there may be some things here from the past currently affecting your present. So Spirit, what is going on with Aries, please? What is going on with Aries? If you've got any manifestations, affirmations, I suggest you get them done now. You know, this is like... Be careful what you wish for time because it may just come true and never in the way you expect. We all know the universe likes to play games, guys. So be very, very specific and make sure your thinking isn't clouded. Make a good judgment, but get those manifestations out because now it's one of the most powerful moons to do it. So one more shuffle and then we will cut the deck, get straight into it. I'm going to be doing the usual spread, using a deck to clarify, and then pulling some oracle cards at the end. So, what is going on with Aries, please, Spirit? What is going on with Aries? Okay, first card out, four of cups reversed. Wow. That's, that ties along with the, the moon we've got right now. <laughs> Coming out of retrograde. Right, okay. Let's spam around. Oh, Aries. Do you know, it's either really, 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 really good for Aries or it's really, really bad. Like, you guys really are going to oh, shit down right now. Yeah. Wow. Okay, underneath the deck, Hermit reversed. So there's something that you don't need to seek clarity on anymore. You've got the answers. You're sick of being in the dark with it. You're going to go and do something with this information or whatever it is that you have got answers to. You could be dealing with a Virgo. First card out is the Four of Cups reversed. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Well... Somebody has missed out on an opportunity, Aries. Someone's missed out on an opportunity. I feel like they've missed out on an opportunity with you. They were too busy looking at everything in their life that they didn't have, that they wasn't being successful in. Just being somewhat maybe selfish, self-centered, focusing on things that weren't really important. And all the while, the universe was there with you, behind you, to this person. Like, you know, this is your one golden opportunity. This is the one time you can make things right. This is something that's good for you. It's something that will last. <sighs> the message from Spirit is the Knight of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody who wants to come back. This is taking swift action. Somebody is going to be communicating. They're going to be communicating pretty quick. But this Mr. Fucking Wishy Washy, he is still the same. Nothing has changed. They're good, or they think they're good at, at talking. They seem to think they say the right words. They know how to woo you back, how to bring you back in. And this 
individual isn't exactly the most emotional either. They're, they're very hypocritical, critical thinking, can come across quite cold. But this energy is coming in pretty quick. Now, Spirit is saying, it's the cups reversed again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is tears, crying, sadness, disappointment. If you can be this way now and make these promises now, why couldn't it be done on, in, the, in the past? Why couldn't you action that in the past? This is getting over somebody and it's been painful. This has been very, very painful. There's, there was love here, there was, not now. And this has taken many, many moons to get to this point of saying no. But it's still breaking your heart. <clears throat> now for some of you, for some of you, this Knight of Wands reversed, you're very angry at this individual. You're angry in your heart because so much shit has gone on and now they're only just realising your worth. Now, after everything you've been through, they're only just seeing your worth. What, where the fuck have they been? I can, I, that is literally what someone is saying. Where the fuck have you been all this time? Because I, I was here all along. I was here all along. And this individual may be angry as well. You could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. They could also be saying that, you know, I, I didn't see it before. I didn't realise it before. There was too many complications, blah, 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 blah. Filling your head full of shit to bring you back into this dynamic. Let's get some clarification for Aries. Uh, let's get some clarification for Aries. Clarify this Four of Cups reversed for Aries, please. Clarify the Four of Cups reversed. And we have got Scorpio season coming up. So again, that's where the, the water sign energy could be coming from. But I do feel heavily Scorpio. But again, it could be Cancer or Pisces. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's the Four of Cups, please? Aries, clarify the four of cups reversed. There's a lot of energy in these cards. They're not, they're not giving me what I want. Clarify the four of cups reversed for Aries. There he is, King of Swords. Clarify the Knight of Swords for Aries. So we're moving from a knight to a king. A knight to a king. Clarify Ace of Cups reversed. I definitely could be dealing with a uh, cancer. Ace of Cups reversed. came out so this knight of this king of swords has got me nervous because this isn't somebody who's going to give up without a fight this time but again it's it's really not what you think it's going to be it is still the same it is still the same and you are actually quite you, you don't realize it yet but you will start to emotionally disconnect it just do not allow yourself to fall back into the games, into the promises that are being made. Because this, this, it's still the same as it was before, they're just hiding it better. Now with this chariot, with, over this knight of swords, like I said, this is somebody who's moving quickly. For whatever reason, they've got a game plan and they're acting on it. And they're deciding to, to start pushing they're really, really pushing now. There may be a new car for somebody, or there could even be complications with the car. But this is somebody who wants to take control. They want control. Because they, 
the air signs, the, the king of swords and the knight of swords, these are all about control, stability. So is the chariot. But you need to, to keep hold of the control and stability you've got for yourself now. You did this without this individual's help. This nine of swords over this ace of cups reversed. You have lost so many nights of sleep over this. You've, you've not been eating properly or you've been overeating. You've not been sleeping, nightmares, dreams, not being able to settle, constantly waking up during the night, anxiety riddled. This is just shit going round and round and round in your head. And you know, you're a wise person, you're a wise individual. So why are you letting this shit get in your head when you already know the answers to what it is you're dealing with? Still the same old shit, st same old story, different day. Now for this Knight of Wands reversed, I've got the two of coins. So this is talking about balance, things needing to balance out. And this is like a desperate plea from the universe that things need to be balanced out because we've got temperance reversed. There's no flow, there's no harmony. And there's a lot of blockages in your life right now. You feel stuck, you feel trapped. Some of you feel trapped. Trapped in a situation, trapped by your circumstances, trapped with this individual. And with the six of ones reversed, there's no victory here. There's never going to be any victory. It's always been small wins, but big losses whilst being in this connection. Small wins, big losses. And nothing is going to change. Nothing is balanced. This individual isn't balanced. On the surface, they seem it. And on the surface, they say the right things. But in reality, that is just not what is going on and this person may also be uh, i don't want to say mentally unwell but they're set they've certainly not got their shit together it's it, everything's a facade everything's a show this is uh, an individual who blags their way through life they get to say things to people to win them over, to get what they want, to get their needs met. And they do it in such a controlling manner that people don't realise what's going on. And you have well and truly had the rug pulled from beneath your feet. Have a final outcome, please, in this reading for Aries. Wow, yeah, Knight of Cups. Reversed. Ah. Oh. Oh, that retrograde really has just it's brought a lot of truth to the surface but it's been painful very very painful we'll get one more there's that hermit right uh, upright knight of cups reversed immature coming in with an author that is not authentic it is not the real deal Somebody who likes to put it elsewhere as well. This is a very highly flirtatious person. They will literally flirt with their own reflection. In fact, I could put money on it that they flirt with their own reflection in the mirror when they're on their own. Because if they don't get their ego boost from the people around them, they do get it from themselves. Very immature individual. Hasn't matured past the age of Abdad, say, 21. Very, very immature. And this person just wants to keep you stuck with them. They don't want you to move forward. They don't. This is somebody who won't be happy for your achievements unless they've been made with them. And then they'll still take credit. How they had their part to play in it. They'll never let you achieve anything off your own back. They just want to keep you stuck. The universe is going to bring in an opportunity, a fresh start. Don't fuck it up. Don't allow anybody else to fuck this up either. You need to go quiet. You need to shut up. Keep your mouth closed and your ears open. Actions speak louder than words, Aries. If that's the only piece of advice you take from this reading, actions speak louder than words. Words are anybody can say anything. Anybody can say anything. Let's get some Lamont on this reading. Well, so this person really is going to try and pull out all the stops to win you back, Aries. There's no, there's no denying it. Someone is going to come crawling out the woodwork. Somebody you've known in the past. You are extremely loyal to this person. Was committed. You was committed. Spoke about marriage. Was maybe married to them. 
you've got something else coming in. You've got something much better coming in, Aries. Someone who is just as loyal as you, has the same aspirations as you. I do see a proposal or marriage on the cards in the future. And it will be an extremely happy, successful relationship. It'll be in a place where things can grow. And it'll be protected, it'll be kept safe. This is an individual who will keep the love under lock and key. Not in a controlling manner, in a way to keep... He, this person will treat the love you have as though it is sacred. So don't go back, go forwards. There's someone new coming in. You will be somewhat concerned or worried about certain situations that are going on in your life or people that are around you, but don't worry. Don't worry because it will all blend. It will all be fine. You will accept them for the way they are and they will accept you for the way you are. But you need to turn your back on another situation that's going on. Dealing with a possible very, very immature water sign. Oh, they've got water somewhere in the chat. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But I am feeling cancer as well. So we have got compassion and home. The compassion is, I feel massively for yourself. The, comp uh, the compassion card is saying it's safe to open up to others. An emotional upheaval that you've been going through will be healed. But it's also asking you to see another person's point of view. Honour how you feel. There may be someone around you who needs your support right now. And it's also saying that there's lessons to be learned in this situation that you've been dealing with. And yeah, I know they're hurt and they feel unfair, but we go through them for a reason. Now the home card is, for some of you indicating a house sale goes through, there's maybe been delays in regards to that or actually physically moving home. Someone is trying to make themselves at home, as I've been telling you. They were shown the front door more than once and they're trying to come back in again. You need to put your boundaries in place. Clear out any clutter in the home. Clear out the space. Open the windows, the doors. Do a deep clean. Do something that gets that stagnant air moving out and the fresh air moving in. Light some candles. Put some warm lights on. Like I hate, I hate houses with the super bright white LED lights. It's like it's not homely in the slightest. You know, you, you go to hospital or the dentist to get that type of light. And I think at home, you need that real warm glow, that homely glow. But when there's stagnant energy, it just feels very dull, very dark. You need to get that energy moving. And also maybe put some salt, some white salt, or even some red brick dust at your front door. Because it will prevent those with ill will from stepping into your home that you have cleansed and you have cleaned. It will keep the shit at bay. Um, I'll leave the reading there, Aries. Let me know in the comment section if this resonates. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Give your kitchen witch a big thumbs up. And I'll see you all again soon.